What's up, boxing fans? This is TBE Boxing back at you again. Today's topic Wilder's LDBC fanboys panties in a twist. Now that Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury has been announced, let's chop it up and see what it's all about. On the block with the pole, huh? That's lucky for riches, huh? That's lucky for riches, huh? Pretty rich, show me titties, huh? And I got the glitz, you gonna bomb me, I'ma make you get it. I'ma make you get it. Okay, boxing fans. Uh, let's talk some boxing. Alright, so big news, huge news, mega news. The Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury fight. Uh, has been signed according to the latest breaking news. Now, that's great news for boxing fans, for boxing in general, okay. However, for some people, this is the worst news that could ever be. You know, and we're talking about, you know, those people who uh, have been spinning narratives now for the last year, ever since... Uh, Tyson Fury demolished uh, Deontay Wilder in their second fight. There's been all kinds of, uh, I mean, you know, narrative that's been running. Uh, you know, people have, have been building their whole careers as YouTube uh, announcers or YouTube pundits, commentators on these narratives. And now all of these narratives have come crashing down to the ground. So naturally, there is no joy in Mudville tonight, <laughs> okay? A lot of these people are very unhappy about the news. Uh, you know, mostly Wilder's LDBC fanboys, okay? These guys are out here now, you know, very depressed, okay? Uh, I mean, it's incredible. That's all I can say. I mean, you should hear these guys now. Go to the channel. I, you know, I, I kind of basically uh per you know like just kind of channel channel uh skipped around to see what it's, people were saying and you should hear you know they're they're scrambling basically to come up with new narratives you know for them to spin now that their main narrative which is that this fight was never going to happen because wilder had the power to stop the fight so the fight is not going to happen okay that, you know, this has been their basic narrative. All of these channels, you know, the Champ Sides, the Blue Blood Sports, the Phantom Boxing, and there's many more of them, okay? All of a sudden, their whole world came crashing down. You should hear uh, Blue Blood Sports right now. He sound depressed. Phantom Boxing came out of hiding uh, wherever he was in the last couple of days or weeks, okay? I, I heard he'd been banned from uh, LDBC. So, you know... Uh, you know, champ side, all of these guys are now out there scrambling around, you know, sounding pitiful, uh, looking, you know, uh, for some new narrative uh, that they can come up with to salvage, you know, the old narrative that they've been pushing. So basically what they're out there saying now is that, oh, just because the fight has been signed, that doesn't mean it's going to happen. <laughs> I mean, these guys are something else, boy. I mean, you know... At the end of the day, you know, the chickens are coming home to roost for these guys. And, you know, once you build your your your, your channel off of just spinning narratives, and once these narratives, you know, get exposed, then, you know, you're up a tree, you know, uh, you're up the lake or up the river without a paddle. I mean, these guys don't know what to do with themselves now. Bluebird Sports over there keeps saying, I'm confused, I'm confused. You, you Somebody got to tell me what's going on. I'm confused. So all of a sudden, of course you're confused. You've been spinning this narrative now for a year about how this fight was never going to happen because Deontay Wilder was not going to allow it. Okay? This is what these guys have been out there saying. Now that the fight is happening, <coughs> excuse me, they don't know what to do. All of them got their panties in a bunch right now, scrambling around trying to come up with a new narrative. But don't worry. Okay? One thing you can be sure of, these guys will come up with a new narrative. That's their specialty, running narrative. So they're probably going to get together, you know, in a conclave of some sort, and they're going to come up with their new narrative, and you'll be hearing it soon, okay? 
you can that you can be guaranteed of they will come up with their new narrative so it is what it is but yeah so the fight has been announced uh you know uh we haven't heard the date yet exactly but uh it's definitely good news uh i'm definitely looking forward to this fight you know uh i hope that you know it's soon and so you know uh we're gonna see what happened you know i mean i'm pretty sure people in britain right now are, are ecstatic that the fight has been signed and uh you know everyone is looking forward to it. well let me roll that back not everyone okay most people you know most boxing fans people who actually like boxing okay i'm pretty happy about this news that the fight is going to happen but you know like i said those wilder fanboys out there the wilder lgbc fanboys out there they're not happy about this fight at all and they're making it known that they're not happy they're on their channels right now as i'm speaking right now they're on their channels you know uh trying to put a damper on the announcement you know basically saying uh you, oh, okay so the fight is signed so what does that mean that doesn't mean it's gonna happen i, I mean these guys are ridiculous at the, you know at the end of the day but you know it is what it is people we can't expect them to uh come to reality anytime soon you know they've been so far out of tune with what's going on in boxing that you know uh they're gonna be it's gonna take them a while to catch up okay so uh right now they're out there like i said running around scrambling around you know uh trying to figure out a new narrative to spin you know uh to basically delegitimize the fight that's we're gonna we, that, that that boxing been waiting for for quite some while quite some time so yeah uh the fight's been announced has been signed and so i guess we're just gonna be waiting for the date now and uh you know uh that's good news boxing uh you know a lot of these guys you know out there saying that oh it was just a, you know uh, uh just a couple of days ago that uh tyson Fury was saying that the fight wasn't going to happen you know but what happened in, the, in 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 one day or in two days you know a lot of these guys don't understand who tyson fury is you know tyson fury says a lot of things okay and you know i mean it's just obvious that tyson fury was trying to put pressure and the people that's doing the negotiating to keep, you know, to go ahead and negotiate the fight and stop, you know, uh, dilly dallying, you know, as he would probably say, he probably just wanted the fight to get signed. And so he was putting pressure on these people by saying the things that he was saying, because that way it put some pressure on them to go ahead and get the fight signed. And obviously it must have worked because the fight is signed today. And he was just talking about that two days ago. So uh you know that's tyson fury uh that's what he does uh you know uh he's pretty slick and you know i guess he was just out there talking to put pressure on the negotiations so that the negotiations could get done and now the negotiations are done so in terms of the signing so we you know we're gonna see where what the venue is gonna be i mean i'm supposedly this venue is supposed to be somewhere in dubai or something like that somewhere overseas so we don't know exactly where it's gonna be but and yeah, that should be a, another announcement i would think and that should be coming soon okay so yeah uh uh congratulations to these guys uh for getting this fight signed okay uh hopefully they'll, they'll release the uh the date soon and we all can you know uh start looking forward to uh when the fight is actually going to take place should be an interesting fight you know uh some people are leaning for joshua some people are leaning for fury uh for me uh i'm not gonna really make a prediction on this fight until it gets a lot closer than it is now and uh when you know when you know i want to see what these guys look like in the interim and see how they comport themselves and what they're going to be doing and you know the, how they're going to sound and what they're going to look like so i'm going to wait until the fight gets closer and then i'll make my prediction as for who you know i think is going to win this fight but for right now, I'm just glad that they actually made the fight, and actually signed it. And so, uh, again, I'm looking forward to the, when the, the date is going to be, uh, what date is going to be on, so that, you know, I can start making some videos uh, about the fight. I'll be making more videos about this fight as time goes along. So we'll see. It should be interesting, you know, leading up to this fight, because you already know how crazy Tyson Fury is. So... Uh, and you know Joshua is you know is not exactly uh, you know uh, you, you know he he got he can say a few things so the promotion leading up to the fight should be interesting 
uh especially with tyson fury out there doing his thing uh you know he's a great promoter uh in, when, it, when it comes to uh promoting his fights and we should see some you know a lot of crazy stuff going on before this fight actually gets you know before the, the date actually arrives okay so yeah uh definitely going to be uh if that one thing is, is going to be is definitely is going to be interesting okay uh leading up to this fight so as you know we're going to have the uh the uh the fanboys the wild the wild deaths and the wild fanboys out there you know uh spinning their narratives as well so uh you know we sh it should definitely get interesting i'm sure they're going to be talking you know uh like they usually are and you know i mean they're going to be wrong as they usually are but they're going to be talking okay i mean they got a right to be wrong so you know we can't take that away from them okay so they can say whatever they want to say i mean it eventually is going to get exposed because basically they're just spinning narratives okay and that's what they do that's the specialty and you know this particular narrative that they've been spinning about this fight and happening is now you know is you know has arrived the fight has arrived and now they have been exposed so now you know they're out there like you know uh roaches when you turn on the light just scrambling around trying to find uh somewhere to you know to something to cover themselves you know uh uh because they've been just basically exposed okay so it is what it is uh definitely looking forward for this fight man i mean it's gonna be a, it should be a great fight i would think it's a two fight deal that i'm hearing that they signed okay so we're not just getting one fight we're getting two fights so should be a great uh for boxing and i can't wait for the day to get here okay uh I'm not going to say much about it now because there's not much out there to say about it. Uh, you know, we just got to wait around and see, you know, for more particulars and more details to come out. And when the details come out, you know, I'll be here uh, to talk about, you know, uh, what's going on. But uh, as I said before, right now, uh, there's no joy in LDBCville right now. I mean, these guys are i mean i almost feel sorry for these guys i mean i, I went over to blue blood sports channel the, the guy looks pitiful over there okay he's over there just looking real pitiful okay i mean i, I basically almost feel sorry for him i saw a fan in boxing like i said he came back from his hiatus and you know looking all disheveled and you know not looking too good uh so we don't know what's been going on with him but as uh, you know we all know that uh you know there's trouble in ldbc land especially with it, where fanon is concerned and so i guess you know more will come to light as, as the time goes on but uh he's out there you know spinning his narrative about you know deontay wilder and this fight and you know they, they still gotta deal with deontay wilder this that and the other you know the usual the usual routine okay that he comes with about you know you know because he's one of the main guys saying that the fight was never going to be signed because Deontay Wilder wouldn't allow it. Him and Blue Blood Sports. So, again, they have both been exposed now. And so, uh, they're going to have to come up with new narratives. But the good news is, I'm sure they will come up with some new narrative because that's their specialty, you know, pushing narrative. So, it is what it is. And so, we're going to see what's going on. Uh, but, yeah, the news is that the fight has been signed. Great news for boxing. Great news for boxing fans. And, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to it so yeah that's what i you know that's what it is so i'm not gonna go on for too long people uh i'll you know uh update you guys more when i get more news out there but uh that's all i have for right now so make sure you subscribe to the channel okay hit the like button subscribe that's all i have for right now this is tbe boxing i'm out